Other than Earth, most planets in the universe have environments that are akin to hell, but who can say for certain that life must exist in the form of carbon-based life? As early as the 19th century, scientists have proposed that life can exist in other forms, such as silicon-based life. We know that all life on Earth is composed of cells, and that biological macromolecules sustain the growth and metabolism of cells, with carbon atoms forming the foundation of these macromolecules. Therefore, life forms that are born in this manner are collectively referred to as carbon-based life. For Earth, carbon-based life is the mainstream form of life. However, for the universe, harsh environments are more suitable for silicon-based life. Firstly, silicon and carbon elements belong to the same group, which leads to many similarities in their chemical properties. Secondly, compared to silicon-based life, carbon-based life is much more fragile. Since carbon-based life relies on water as a medium, extreme temperatures, whether high or low, can cause cells to completely break down. In contrast, silicon-based life has an optimal survival temperature range of 200 to 400 degrees Celsius and can live comfortably regardless of the presence of oxygen and water. Lastly, silicon-based life has a longer lifespan than carbon-based life because, in a way, they are similar to stones. As long as their host planet maintains high temperatures, silicon-based life could potentially achieve immortality. In summary, if silicon-based life does exist, it would indeed be extremely terrifying. Furthermore, based on current observations, there are clearly more planets in the universe that are suitable for the survival of silicon-based life. However, all the speculations about silicon-based life are based on optimal conditions, and they are only suitable for surviving in harsh and hot environments. Once the environment becomes moist, the silicon chains that make up their skeletons will break. Therefore, silicon-based life also has its own Achilles heel and cannot be born at will.